Welcome back. This is Expresso. You're just in time for our youth sports report, only on your Feel Good Breakfast show. Now, this week, we have a special cricketing guest with us in the house. But before we introduce this dynamic young player, let's take a quick, broader scope of what went down this past weekend on our sporting fields. A big congratulations to South Africa's very own Calvin van der Linde on being crowned the 2013 Skirocco R Cup champion this past weekend in Germany. Calvin is the only driver this year to have won more than one race and also the youngest winner of the German Championship. No mean feat at all. With a 43-point advantage over his nearest rival, Kasper Jensen of Denmark, and a 40-point lead over fellow SA racer Jordan Pepper, the only other drivers who could have won the championship this weekend. Um, Linda has only managed to finish 12th to secure the title in that final event. So well done, son. He did the hard yards in the season. Now let's take a look at some of our cricketing results coming out of this weekend's top matches in the Western Cape. Sachs and Bishops drew their match on Saturday, whilst Paul Boys High won by an emphatic 175 runs against their traditional rivals, Bernard Lampo. In the Eastern Cape, Grey High won their match against Hudson Park after the East London base side could only muster up 160 for eight. That was in reply to Grey's 296 for eight. In the Northern Vaal, we've got Grey Bloom coming undone against Uffies by 30 runs and King Edward's school bagging a memorable win against Pretoria Boys High. Now, I'm very excited this morning to be joined, as I said, by a very dynamic young player. A young man who, uh, this weekend alone, took three for 45 against Weinberg, another old rival there, and scored a stellar 45 runs as Rondebosch defeated their arch rivals by 91 runs. Diane Halim, very good morning, sir. Welcome to Expresso. You seem quite proud of yourself at the weekend's achievements. Um, always a tough hustle against Weinberg, eh? Yeah, it, um, it, was a, it was quite a tough game, but, I mean, yeah, we, we played two hour potential and um, yeah, we, we did well. So That seems to be the watchword for you, playing to your potential. At just 15, you managed to make it into that Western Province side. You toured with the under-19 South African side now to India. What was that like? That was incredible. The, it was absolutely amazing to see the passion that they have for cricket. I mean, just the one day we went to, a, to the school and as soon as you got there, we just heard like a big roar and like everyone was just shouting your name and they were just shouting and and then at the end they all just ran over, asked for signatures, you'd like, you'd sweat because so many people <laughs> are around you and yeah, and just learning from the from the older guys, I mean, it was, it was really good and I think that um, I'm much more mature towards my approach to the game and yeah, I've, I've learned Quite a, quite a lot. Because you're you're really young to be playing at that level. Do you feel the pressure? Um, I, not really. But I mean, I actually sometimes I like the pressure because then people see you as you know the guy to send in at the tough times, and hopefully you can do well. And that's I mean that that is the moment you like to be you in. Want if, the you want know, yeah. So what's what's next? Lastly, do you have a design on a professional careers? That's the first step. Um, yes, next, well, next year and the year after, I would like to try and uh, play a bit of amateur games and stuff like that to just, you know, kind of moving forward, challenge myself even more, because I mean, I play club cricket now, and that's, that's, that's quite a challenge for me now. And I can imagine, man. Yeah, yeah, and then that 19 essay, that, that is something else, and then, yeah, I would just like to take a step further, amateurs, and then hopefully after that, Cobras, and then obviously the ultimate goal is obviously to play Proteus, but it's going to be quite a long journey for that. Oh, dude, well, I think you've taken the first few steps, and hopefully one of the franchises in India might have noticed you while you were out there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but all the best, dude. Thank Thanks. you so much for joining us, and good luck with the rest of the season ahead. I know it is a cutthroat one, but well done, my man. Thank you very much. Diane Khalim joining us here on Express, or another brilliant young sporting star. Send us your young heroes from your school, the guys that need to be put out there for the rest of the country to see, to be inspired by. Well, we're going to continue being inspired, but on a very different front now, it's time to go tech. Expresso Youth Sport, brought to you by Deep Heat. Warms pain away.